going prospecting, drilling drill more holes, and uh, almost had my jig pole go down the hole. Number two for the day. Nice one. Hit on that pink little blood run deal. Not the BMC fly. Midway through the quarter column. Started off hot, kind of slowed down a little bit. But figure I probably should have been here about half an hour earlier before that sun really got up. This feels like a good one. I'm the dead stick. Sprinted over here from when I was checking that other hole. This feels like a good one. Oh, don't lose them at the hole. Oh, there we go. Now he's just fighting well. Good old rainbow. Hold the bucket. Each one of these rainbows, one full A will be enough with a side for a whole meal. So in this pail, I got six dinners right now. Two more will make a 10. Maybe use one or two of those fillets to grill up and mix into some fish dip, chip dip. Really good flesh on these guys. Any lake that you find the main forage source is scuds, you're probably gonna have some really good orange flesh on that fish. And that's kind of what I'm using right now is little scud looking lures. 100% stocked fishery, no natural reproduction in here, so they grow really fast and there's really good sized fish in here. Good conditioned fish too. Ooh, caught me off guard. Get the transducer out of there. Okay. Okay. Ooh, this is a big one. This is a big mama. Ooh. Come on. Oh God. Oh God. Get up here. Get up here. Oh, get up here. Oh. <laughs> Look at this tank. That one's going in the freezer. As I was saying, these things are really good condition in this lake. Just chomped it. That one didn't take long to hit. And as much fun as this is, and there's some really big rainbows to be caught in here, like 23, 24 inch rainbows. I think since I have all my food and this lake ain't going anywhere, I'm gonna go and try to jump shoot some ducks. So go home with a limit. Hopefully limit out on ducks in my dreams, but maybe I'll get a couple. And that's a wrap. Well, not bad for the first time out for the year. Limit of rainbows. One really nice one. Ice is already uh, getting pretty thick. It's about eight inches thick. That hand auger, I had to buy that because I normally fish with the power auger back at home. Uh, but that's the family auger. So moving out to Montana. I didn't have one one on Craigslist got one for 35 bucks Not the greatest but it does the job a couple weeks might start getting harder <laughs> But I'm gonna go home cut all these up. Oh, I just got hit hard 
Fish on. That's a big one. Try not to lose my rod here. Oh, I lost the fish. Okay. Oh no, I didn't lose a fish. I lost a fish. This seems like a big one. I was done. I was gonna go in. Had my limit, gonna go shoot some ducks. Let the line in, and this one, this one could be a big fish. I could really be using more of a medium heavy rod right now. Instead I'm using a pretty light one. I don't want him to spool me. Always have a line in the water, folks. Oh. This is a big fish. <laughs> I might need to tighten my drag just a little bit. Oh, jeez. Oh. I don't even know how long she measures because <sighs> I didn't bring a measuring device. There's no minimum size on this lake. You can just, you can only keep one over 22 inches, which I wouldn't keep that fish anyways. So I didn't bring a measuring device, but uh, this one might be worthy of a measure if I had one. Get up here. Oh, come on. Come on, my girl. <laughs> Slab. Slabosaurus. And she hit the top fly. Oh, look at that. I actually, eh, she might be a little bigger than that other one that I kept. Oh, yeah. Beautiful rainbow, look at that stuff. I'm just gonna let her go quick. That's a good day.